Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about topic the communication plan. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting especially if you have interest in uh, project management or you are managing different types of projects. So let's uh, start friend. First of all, I request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you. Friend, first of all we have to understand that what is communication. Friend, communication is basically a method of sending and receiving the message okay between two parties or more than two parties so that is called as the main concept of communication now communication plan means that whenever we are implementing projects so in a project there are so many stakeholders are there uh, to which we have to communicate we have to talk with them we have to send information to them or receive information from them so communication plan in project management means that how you will communicate to them how will you which medium will you use to communicate with them so communication plan is a policy driven approach to provide stakeholders with information the plan formally defines who should be given a specific information when that information should be delivered and what communication channels will be used to deliver the information an effective communication management plan anticipates what information will need to be communicated to specific audience segments the plan should also address who has the authority to communicate confidential or sensitive information and how information should be uh, disseminated email website printed reports and presentation finally the plan should driven what communication channels a stakeholder will use to solicit feedback and how communication will be documented and archived basically friend by using communication plan you will decide for example for ceo you will give a powerpoint presentation after every uh, one week to describe the status of the project uh, to the information manager of uh, customer you will send an email on uh, after every two weeks for example so basically communication plan means that which medium you will use for communication how uh, which what will be the frequency to meet with them uh, to inform send information to them so communication plan play an important role uh, in the change management as well an effective communication strategy can help break down resistance to change by getting everyone on the same page and helping stakeholders become engaged and endorse the need for change and the steps being taken to bring it about in project management the communication plan may include a glossary of common terms to ensure all stakeholders use terms consistently this glossary uh, may also define and include samples of templates uh, reports and forms that the project manager will use to communicate information <coughs> A communication plan for emergency situation is similar but also uh, but uh, must also address ways both electronic and non-electronic communication channels should be used to disseminate information. This includes announcements over a uh, building, paging system, automated text messages, email alerts, pre-recorded uh, robocalls and the use of phones, trees and social media. In the simplest term, a communication plan is a detailed plan from beginning to an end for delivering and strategic messages to a target audience as a way to drive a positive business result. This is done by answering a few simple questions such as who is the brand or company targeting, what is the message that needs to be delivered and finally what manner of communication will be used to read that target audience reach that target, target audience when it comes to creating a communication plan this is the way to organize a brands or actions that are then going to lead to a fulfilling result whether that result is to drive a sales or to raise an audience awareness around a brand's new product or even a prior product launch all of these goals need a communication plan so basically friend just think of uh, um, the uh, communication plan as a document which describes a way of communication with different stakeholder it describes the uh, level of uh, communication as well like a uh, project manager from vendor side will talk to the vendor project manager from the customer side uh, CEO from the customer side will talk to the CEO of the 
uh, vendor site etc so in that way you will decide you will describe the basically way of communication among different stakeholders different parties as well uh, then friend communication planning uh, coordinates ways to deliver information to people who are important to an organization the plan is a detailed outline that demonstrates what communicators want to say who they want to uh, say it to and when and how they want to say it the process is often important for marketing teams to connect with current and potential consumers it can also be useful for providing consistent updates about a project to clients and uh, stakeholders communication planning can enable professionals to raise awareness of specific subjects in tactical ways to evaluate how their audiences receive the message now uh, friend if you can understand the concept of communication planning so now the question is why communication planning is important friend it is very uh, interesting question uh, that why communication planning is important because whenever we are building a project well, so many time it happens that communication planning is not important so many people think but in fact communication planning is very important because it can establish significant relationships between a business and its key stakeholders you can think more closely about how consumers or stakeholders may perceive messages which can allow you to maintain a positive reputation for the business planning can also enable you to ensure that you remain in consistent contact with significant groups you can reference the outline to remind you to send updates and follow up with individuals who can contribute to the growth of the organization now friend what uh, if you can understand the importance of the communication plan now the question is that what are the reason to create a communication plan why should you create a communication plan for a uh, first thing that organizing a commu communication flow uh, why there are there may be a lot of information you want to share with audiences audiences means like your customer other stakeholders a communication plan can organize all the details together in a clear format it can make it easier for you to decide which news to distribute first to appeal to the audience and which news to spread next to encourage them to continue interacting with the company you can also rank information by its importance which can allow you to share only the pertinent details an organized communication flow can enable you and your team to collaborate more easily you can also ensure that external parties such as stakeholders and consumers have updated information about the organization next point is distinguishing your message from others it's also very important point so uh, that means basically a communi communication plan can allow you to approach conversations more uh, strategically the more you engage the audience the more likely they can differentiate the information you provided from other messages they have received so uh, friend uh, thank you thanks a lot for watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends